what is going on everybody it is k1 the collector here and today i want to talk about lola vice now who is lola vice i suggest when i talk about this don't leave but look up lola vice just so you can get the look and understand why i'm about to say what i say lola vice is on the nxt team Y'all can't talk, man. She got me captivated. I ain't gonna get to you. Anyway, she is on the come up in the NXT scene, man. She on the way. She is on next. Uh, she is on NXT level up right now. But she has been on the come up recently, having matches with the likes of Ivy Nile and Thea Hale, which are bigger names in in the uh, in the women's wrestling scene. So. But what is her background? Well, she's been in a performance center for a while. She's came up. Like, so she just recently came up into the NXT scene, and she had been working, like, dark matches for NXT. But now she's been on TV uh, more recently. She is, she was a mixed martial artist, and some people might actually know her more as Valerie Lareda. Valerie Lareda was a mixed martial artist, and she came up, she's been a mixed martial artist for a long time, doing a lot of karate and kickboxing, like, while she was growing up. Now, she went viral before all of this. She was, like I said, mixed martial artist first in Bellator. She went viral before all of this because she knocked out a girl with a spinning heel kick and uh, the celebration that she did afterwards, dancing and all of that. And it's also because not many fighters look quite like Lola Vice. She is not an eyesore to look at. Very gentle on the eyes, I must say. It is fantastic over here. I'm trying <laughs> try to tell y'all, man, she might take the crown for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the best looking one in, the, in, in wrestling. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like that. But the interesting part about her is that is the MMA background and how that translates to the WWE. So we've seen uh, people from an MMA background come to the WWE. Of course, we've seen Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey. Now, she was not on, like, that level. She didn't fight that many fights in Bellator, but she did have a couple of fights. So um, the difference between her and them, though, is that Valerie Laredo was a striker. She was a kickboxer, karate type of fighter. Va uh, not Valerie. Shayna and Ronda were grapplers. Ronda's one of the greatest grapplers ever in MMA history. So, and her stand-up was getting better, but she was about done by the time it was... You know, it wasn't really it was that was that was past. So to see a for real, for real pro striker <laughs> coming here, her moves and stuff have looked sharp. Her finishing move is actually that cyclone kick or uh, the jumping spinning kick that uh, you might see uh, Nikita Lyons do in a game. It is her signature uh, for Nikita Lyons and uh, some other superstars do the jumping spinning kick to the face. That is what she normally has been finishing fights with. She hasn't won very much yet, but I promise you she'll be a star soon because of her athleticism and her looks. I feel like that will carry that can carry her to a really bright spot in wrestling. And she's getting better and better. Like I said, it's early for her, but her facial expressions is good. She's showing intensity and stuff at the right times. And her athleticism allows her to move around really well. Her grappling is where she's struggling with the most. So that'll continue to get better. But just looking at it, man, you you give her time to work. You give her time to work. You ain't get your your patience is high. I'm trying to tell you, boy. It, it's a different it's a different type of thing here. So you're right now y'all watching gameplay that I uh that I'm just playing in the background. This is a low device that I downloaded. That is that spinning kick that I was talking about that she's been finishing people with and she's fighting Kyrie Sane. But Yes, Lola in the game, though, in my faction, I think she would be fantastic. Her strikes would be filled with kicks and fast punches, maybe elbows and knees to even more emphasize the MMA background. But the kicks would be really, really good. She would remind me of Mia Yim, Mi Chen, uh, the Amethyst one that just came out, which is at a really, really high level. Like, it's a high level card. Now, she's smaller than Mi Chen because Lola Vice is pretty short. But that caters even more to speed and agility and hard to hit. So with those kicks, she'll kind of make up for the range because she'll go on about as far as she can in the leg. And she's going to reach as far as she can with the leg. So, and the cyclone kick is not an easy reversal. So I feel like she could be doing damage. If you give her some sting like a bees and some swiftness, she might creep up on you and become a really nice card in my faction. And somebody who's just cool to use in the game and... 
one of your favorite people in the world, man. All right, all right, I'm telling, I'm telling. But let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, go check out Lola Vice. I really think she would be a cool addition to the game for more reasons than one. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, another kick. All right, that's what I, that's what I love. Go ahead, Penna, Penna. Can we get that? Oh, let's get a three. One, two, three. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Until next time. I will see you and Lola later, man. Peace.